All right, the first step to improving at video games with a bad setup, low frames, or high ping is realization. You have to realize that it's going to be more difficult for you to play at a high skill level and more difficult for you to improve than it will be for others. A bad setup is an extreme disadvantage, and we can't just pretend that the setup doesn't affect your ability to rank up. It will take more work for you to get to a certain skill level than it will for others, and that's really important to realize. This mentality is super important. If you expect to get to a high skill level by using the conventional training methods that pros or semi-pros and their 360 FPS 27-inch monitor with zero ping and negative 10 milliseconds of input delay use, you expect ungoodly. You have to practice differently than these people since you don't have as good of a setup as them. That's just the truth. If people try to convince you that your setup doesn't matter and that their training routine will work for you as well as it does for anyone else, then it's probably either a bad training routine and you might want to not do the listen to them anymore. Also, there's a line beyond which you can't really expect reasonable improvement at all. Chances are you're not going to be able to become a pro with your bad setup. Uh, and if your game barely loads, you've got like 10 FPS or a lag spike every 5 seconds. That honestly might just be too big of a disadvantage to seriously consider improving with. You're going to want to get that issue fixed if it's actually that big of a deal uh, and makes the game unplayable, right? A good practice routine will not make your unplayable game playable, I can tell you that much. However... Chances are, if you actually want to improve, you have more than a potato to run your game on, so you should at least be able to get to what is considered good by others, I suppose. I am only legally able to tell you these things with any amount of authority, because I got pretty good at Fortnite on Nintendo Switch. And by pretty good, I don't mean pro, I mean pretty good. That means I was playing on 30 FPS on an unstable 30 to 40 ping, on a screen that is slightly bigger than that of your phone, with controllers that had drift and input delay, while laying on the ground next to my internet router in the middle of my living room in order to minimize the amount of lag spikes I got. So I think I know what I'm talking about. Now as far as learning how to actually get good at video games while having a bad setup, the first step is to find people in a similar situation to you that are actually good right now. This will be more or less difficult depending on the game that you want to improve at, as it will be much easier to find a good low FPS player on like Fortnite than it will be on a game similar to Valorant, since some games seriously demand a better setup more than others do, like Valorant. Go look on YouTube for people in your game that have a suboptimal setup, meaning they play on the same input or platform that you do, and they're in a similar situation regarding frames or ping or lag or whatever you struggle with. If you're actually lucky enough to find someone like this, then study the absolute heck out of their gameplay. If they're actually good, you can learn a lot about the playstyle that you should develop based off of their playstyle. Maybe they're playing more slowly so they have extra time to react to disadvantages because of their poor setup. Finding people like this will get harder and harder as time goes on, people keep buying their NASA supercomputers, but maybe you can become this person for your game if there's nobody yet. It also wouldn't be that bad of an idea to write down your ideas on how to play based on your bad setup. It might sound a little bit cringe at first, but by getting your ideas and plays down into one place, you can actually form a more holistic playbook or playstyle which you can begin to master. Take notes on what high skill players with bad setups are doing that differentiates them from the regular pro. Depending on how many people in your game have a bad setup or bad frames, you may need to create your own training routine. Make sure it's focused around the playstyle that you decided on and make sure that it's centered not around flashy or fast mechanics, but things that your poor performance actually causes you to struggle with. Don't try to learn stuff that's going to require a ton of frames or a t or very low ping, right? Because you're just not going to be able to do that stuff like other people do. Leave that for all the people who want to make their YouTube shorts clips or TikTok or Instagram clips. Right? And then you focus on the stuff that actually matters for improving and winning and beating other people at your game. For a few weeks, you will need to focus on applying your new playstyle in-game and you'll need to practice your practice routine for a long time to actually get used to it. However, when you get this playstyle and consistent practice down, you'll actually be able to improve super quick, even if you have bad ping, frames, input delay, or a bad setup. Okay, bye.